Hello YouTube type peoples, uh, it's a great day out. I'm sitting in my room recording commentary about Tony Hawk. Uh, specifically the game you're watching is Tony Hawk's Underground, I believe. Yeah, Tony Hawk's Underground. Um, that was, I, I started out with Tony Hawk 3, and I think I still have that game somewhere, it might be scratched to hell or whatever the disc. I started out with Tony Hawk 3, uh, and then I got Tony Hawk's Underground. And Tony Hawk's Underground is a completely different beast, it's, it's insane. You have these levels, and they're, if you've ever played Tony Hawk, you kind of know the levels are open world, you know, you go wherever you want in the levels. Uh, but it, before there was a, um, I don't know if this was true in Tony Hawk 3 or not, but there was a timer, pretty much. You would have like two minutes or three minutes, whatever it was, to go around the level and complete objectives. You, if you didn't complete all the objectives, you just do it again and get the ones you didn't complete. In Tony Hawk's Underground, you have a story, which is the first for a Tony Hawk series. And I think, I can't remember if Tony Hawk 3 had a story, I don't really remember much of that game. But, because with that game, I played Tony Hawk 3, Pro Skater 3, before I had a memory card for my PS2. So whenever I'd play that game, I'd start from the beginning. So I never got past like the second level. <laughs> like, ever. I remember the second, first level was Foundry, second level was Canada. I don't remember, I think I got to the third level once I got a memory card. But I remember just playing that game and starting over every single time. So I would only play the two levels, Foundry and Canada. And I loved the game because it was a skateboarding game, and who doesn't love that as a, you know, ten-year-old boy. Um, so yeah, I don't know, it's a skateboarding game. And then I got Tony Hawk's Underground, and it's a completely different beast because there's a story to it. There's characters, and there's objectives, and there's no time limit anymore. There was just this open world, and then if you found, like, you know, a character with a big, I think, red star above their head, you could hit them and then, like, you know, hit X next to them or something. I think it was Circle. I don't remember what the PS2 controller is. Uh, you'd hit a button next to them, and you'd have an objective to do, and it would progress the story, and it would pro progress you as a, as a skateboard character or whatever, a skateboarder. Uh, and that was great. That was awesome. And every time you completed a certain number of objectives, you'd get to the next level, and the next level, and the next level. And then you'd beat the game, and I think Eric... Eric is... You're pretty much your best friend at the beginning of the game. He becomes your arch enemy, and I can't remember how the game ends. I remember he does this insane, like this insane line back in your hometown, back in the first level, and you have to, like, match his line or something, and somehow you beat him? I don't remember. Anyway, um, I've been playing this game on the PS2 a lot, so I think I'm somewhere in... Ooh, where am I in the game? I, d I don't remember. I'm pretty far in the game. I played it for, like, four hours the other day, then forgot that it's an old game, so it doesn't have autosave in it, and I just completely quit out. Then, like, a couple minutes later, I realized what I did. I just lost four hours of gameplay, and I was like, ah, well, crap, that's annoying. But uh, anyway, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. I think I'm in Hawaii. Or I think I just beat Hawaii, so I'm in Vancouver. I think I'm in Vancouver. Anyway. And this great game... Uh, blah, 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 I can't talk. Anyway, it's a great game because it's a lot... A lot of it's about the culture behind skateboarding. It's about the... Kind of the punk rock, um, like, F you to the system or whatever. I mean, not to, not to a, you know... Uh, an overkill point, but it's 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 more about the culture behind skateboarding, and I remember the music in that game being fantastic. It's a lot of like punk rock songs, and it's a lot of stuff like that. There's I think a few rap songs or something, but punk rock in that game was great because I don't know, it kind of got me into the whole like rock and roll scene. That and Guitar Hero, um, much of my life is influenced by video games. It's kind of sad when you think about it, but I love it. So uh, the music in this game, between that and Guitar Hero, kind of got me into the music I listened to when I started listening to music when I was like nine years old. Because I remember this game having like a lot of punk rock and stuff like that, and then I remember getting into Green Day, and Green Day was my very first concert ever, it was a great concert, my mom brought it, to, brought me to it, I think for my ninth birthday, I think it was September 9th, I don't remember the year, but whatever, when I was nine years old, whatever that year was, uh, September 9th, I think, I could be wrong on that, but it was a great concert, I remember loving it, and I went with my best friend Will Glazer, I actually have a picture of that, me holding the tickets with Will on my desk here, I don't know why, because I, well, I have tons of pictures on my desk, anyway, but, uh, yeah, so it got me into the whole, like, punk rock scene and, and right, the whole, like, you know, culture behind skateboarding. I thought was like, oh, it's cool, you know? And I wear skateboard shoes still, mainly because they're just comfy. They're so fluffy, but I think I started wearing them because it was like, oh, like, you know, I like skateboarding, so why wouldn't I like skateboard shoes, right? That, that makes sense. So, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I'm getting into my shoes now. <laughs> this commentary is going to end. Um, yeah, I love Tony Hawk. It's a great game. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, just figured I'd make a commentary about it, because why not? See you later.